<laughs> Hi friends, thanks for tuning in to our video today. Today is going to be unusual. Papa's got to go into the hospital and get a medical procedure taken care of. So in the meantime, after you're done watching this, please subscribe and click the bell and that'll help us. Having a look down the wash. I'm up on a high promontory point uh, just outside of uh, my campground area and uh, this is uh, kind of a fun place to come and stand. If you're up high maybe uh, maybe 40 feet uh, maybe 50 uh, above the floor of the wash here and it's kind of interesting to be able to look out. If I had my binoculars I'd be able to see a lot of stuff out there. I'll I'll bet that there's a certain amount of wildlife that uh, the traips is around out there. I don't hear too many coyotes here, so I don't know how many coyotes there might be out there. There's so many dogs here in Slab City that uh, may tend to keep the coyotes a little more distant. But uh, anyway, so that's kind of a look here of, at the wash today in the desert. This part of the desert is kind of interesting. It's like walking on the crust of a pie. It's uh, real spongy because on the top is this this crust material and underneath it it's just sandy and muddy because this is an area where the wash waters just flow down and congregate. Well, hi friends. Uh, today I'm going to be going back up to the hospital in Brawley. Um, I was up there on uh, Tuesday a couple, three days ago, and uh, I had to, I had a physical problem. I wasn't able to uh, pee, <laughs> put it succinctly. Um, you uh, faithful watchers of Papa and the Bandit will remember that uh, last year uh, up in uh, Oatman, Kingman, Arizona, north of Havasu, uh, I had, a, I had a, a bladder problem, a urinary problem, and I had to go to the hospital in Kingman and get a catheter because my uh, lower abdomen was just swelling up like a balloon, causing me a great deal of pain. And I had to get that urine out of my bladder, so they put a catheter in there to do that. So anyway, uh, the bottom line to that story is very often when you get old, a man gets old, he'll have uh, problems with uh, bladder and uh, sometimes uh, prostate cancer like I had and I've uh, been treated for. Uh, but uh, your bladder just uh, doesn't work. It won't evacuate. And sometimes uh, you just catheterize it and uh, get uh, all that excess urine out of there and it kind of goes back to normal or whatever normal is for you after a couple of days. So uh, I went in um, on a Tuesday or Wednesday and uh, got a catheter because my stomach was just uh, just hurting bad. And uh, today I'm going in to uh, get it removed and um, hang around in Brawley, uh, do some shopping and and wait and see if um, if I go back to somewhat normal. So we'll see. Here we go. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Papa Dale here and the Bandit. Hi, Bandit. How are you? Papa, I'm doing just fine. I really, I really want to go outside though, and I want to see if there's some bushes out there that I can water, or maybe some lizards that I can chase. Oh, well, okay. Uh, I don't know if we can uh, make that happen or not. I suppose we can, eventually. <laughs> but, anyway, um... Yeah, here I am out in the Arizona desert, Arizona. Here I am out in the California desert. And uh, today we're uh, going to do something uh, that is a little uh, more out of the ordinary. Today we're going to get in the tracker and we're going to drive into Brawley 
to the emergency room of the hospital. Yeah, Papa's got a thing going on. Uh, a couple days ago, I, I, a couple days ago, I had an event happen, a physical event, um, almost identical to a physical event that I had. Any faithful watchers will remember last year uh, up in Oatman. You can go back and look at my uh, Oatman um, video. Up in Oatman, uh, I started feeling really bad and uh, feeling a lot of pressure in my uh, abdomen. And I had to drive into the hospital in Kingman where they had to put in a urinary catheter so that I could pee. Uh, my bladder was just swelling to the size of a beach ball, it felt like. <laughs> and um, I was in a lot of pain, a lot of pain. So I actually had two videos about that, one starting in Oatman and then a separate one in Kingman. Well, um, that was the second time I've had that happen to me since uh, my uh, prostate cancer, uh, surgery, radiation, chemo, treatment uh, about four years ago. And um, uh, it came on me again. Why exactly? I don't know. Now, the last time I had tried to cut down my medication... Uh, because I don't like some of the side effects. Uh, this time, uh, I was being good. I was taking all my medications normally, and uh, I still had this circumstance happen. So, uh, technically, when this happens, uh, in the uh, male urinary system, there is uh, a sphincter. A sphincter is it's just like a valve. The human body has lots of sphincters. And uh, it just uh, tightens up um, kind of like uh, a lens on a camera, like the aperture on a, a camera. And um, uh, in fact, <laughs> I'll use, uh, I'll use a, a, a transition uh, that uh, shows that, uh, how that works. Uh, for uh, cameras. But anyway, people who have had uh, prostate cancer surgery, uh, uh, sometimes particularly the chemotherapy part or the uh, radiation therapy part of it, sometimes the, uh, the sphincters just don't work uh, with great regularity. Sometimes there are uh, problems. So uh, kind of out of the blue, uh, had a problem and um, I had to uh, run into uh, the emergency room in Brawley, and uh, they put in a catheter and uh, took out over uh, a liter, 1.1 uh, liters of uh, urine that uh, just would not evacuate uh, on its own. And that was causing me a lot, a lot of problems. Well, so for the last, uh, uh, again, I think that was on Tuesday, today is Friday, so uh, all day Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I've had this catheter, and anybody that's had a catheter, uh, especially a male, I don't know about female, obviously, um, but uh, it becomes very, very sore and painful at the insertion point, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go back to the hospital and have them take it out and see if uh, I can't uh, establish a normal urinary flow. Uh, last time this happened in Kingman, I quick like a bunny headed back to uh, uh, my home base up in Yelm, Washington. And um, I had a, because uh, I had a, or was supposed to have a uh, urologist appointment at the time. And uh, so I just... Uh, uh, ended my uh, my trip, my excursion, and I went home and uh, got in. And all they did was uh, took it out, uh, made sure that I had gotten back on my medication, and um, and that was it. And from then on, from that day until this, I've been doing just fine. So I'm hoping that uh, we can take this out, and I'll just be back to normal. Uh, I am in, I am using my medication. 
uh, properly. And so, um, you know, I'll just keep an eye on it and uh, see what happens. If I have more problems, then I'll uh, be a little more proactive in seeking out uh, a urology doctor uh, down here in eastern Southern California. Uh, I did try to find a urologist um, this week, and uh, there just aren't very many urologists around, particularly down here. So we'll do what we can do. The emergency room said I could come back there and get it taken out if I wanted to. So that's what I'm going to do today. And then I probably, um, I got to hang around. And, and uh, after they take it out, I got to hang around and make sure that it's uh, working properly. And uh, uh, so I'll probably uh, have a couple beverages and then I'll probably uh, do some shopping um, in uh, some of the stores that are still open. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. So that's what I'm doing today. Yabba dabba. Don't. <laughs> Don't have this if you can avoid it. <laughs> so... Here's Papa at the emergency room at the Pioneer Memorial Hospital in Brawley, California, coming in to uh, get this uh, catheter removed. They, uh, they saved my life and uh, saved me a great deal of pain when I was in here on Tuesday, uh, but uh, it's uh, time to get it removed and see if my body will return to normal. <laughs> Well, <laughs> hi friends, I am back from the Brawley Emergency Room, the Brawley Hospital, uh, Pioneer Memorial Hospital, and uh, I don't know about my body returning to normal, I, I don't think it's ever going to be normal, <laughs> but it's probably about as normal as it's going to get for a little while anyway, uh, it's got to get used to... Uh, not having that catheter in and uh, the muscles have to uh, have to respond properly now so here's the situation um, I'm feeling pretty good uh, no catheter um, I seem to be passing water uh, mm, not as well as I could but I'm still passing and so I got to watch it. I got to be careful. I got to figure out uh, um, every day. I've got to just watch it and see where I'm at. The um, I asked the hospital for, and they gave me a single-use uh, catheter um, kit, and so I can actually catheterize myself and uh, take the pressure off. Um, uh, if I need to, and uh, give me time to uh, get into the hospital or get into the doctor uh, a little more comfortably if I have to do that. So that's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I've got that. It's kind of a backup plan. But for now, uh, I think I am I may be done with this... Um, medical problem for a little while anyway. I'm, I'm hoping a few weeks, a few months. <laughs> I'd be done with it for any length of time is a blessing, believe me. But my life, my life is in God's hands. If uh, it's an opportunity to praise Him through the pain, and uh, if that's what He says that I need to learn to do, well, okay then, that's what I do. So, for now, uh, I hope that this episode is behind me for a little while. Yabba dabba doo! <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much, friends, for watching our video all the way to the end today. We really enjoy you coming along with us on our travels and our journeys, even if it's to the hospital. <laughs> so now please remember to subscribe and click the bell and help us out to build this channel. 